What's up everybody, it's Josh from Blackout and it's time for What's in the Shop Wednesday. So we missed you last week because it was New Year's Day and we didn't have anything in here New Year's Day. So we are back and we've got a lot going on. Right behind me is probably the biggest project in the shop right now. This is a brand new Super Duty. This is the 2020 body style. So the front end has been redesigned a little bit. New front bumper, new front grill. Um, the reason it's here is it's getting a full Expel Ultimate Plus wrap. Every square inch of the white paint that you see is going to be covered in the clear protective film. It's also getting a ceramic coating on top of that. And you've heard me say it before, why do both of them? Ceramic coating works just as well on top of film as it does on top of paint. So that means easy cleaning and a really awesome shine from the film and the paint. The wheels are getting ceramic coated as well. And the interior is getting a detail and ceramic coating also. So the Ceramic Pro makes a product called Ceramic Pro uh, leather that is designed specifically for use on leather. Over here we've got a Chevy Impala and this car is here. This is a two-year maintenance checkup for Ceramic Pro. So I believe this one got a gold package and there was some watermark etching and things in the top of the coating. We were able to polish that out pretty easily. That's one of the advantages of a coating is in the event that it does get damaged, which it can happen, things clean up a lot easier. So a very, very light polish A very light polish was able to take care of that for us. Um, and then we re-top coated it just to make sure that it's still performing with the hydrophobic effects that it should have. Over here we've got a Toyota Tacoma. This truck is here for a cat skin, as you can see. There is no interior in it. Uh, we have the seats out. They're over there. We'll show you that in just a second. We're doing a custom leather interior from cat skin. What that is is a new seat cover so it's not something that goes over top of the existing cloth we actually remove the cloth and install new leather on top of it and patrick is working on a mercedes cla 250 this car needed a paint correction very badly might be able to catch i think that front door still needs done a lot of work in this but it's coming out really awesome it looks like a mirror when he's finished so not very many things that were deep just a lot of very hazy weird looking scratches on the surface of that Aaron is working on a remote start system. He's got four or five of them today, I believe. And this one's a Kia Forte Coupe. It's getting a starter. We've got this Indian, it's still here. Uh, this got cleaned up by us a couple weeks ago. Kind of needs re-cleaned up now because the customer decided to add on some LED lighting as well. So we did accent lighting underneath the tank, on the back of the bike, and as well as a couple other places. And it's a color changing RGB LED kit. So what that means is Basically, you can pick whatever color you want, change it, have it pulse, flash, whatever you'd like. And I believe this one is controlled from the phone app also, so that's pretty cool. Frank. Yes, sir. We've got Frank. How's this coming? Pretty good so far. Awesome. So he's working on the cat skin interior that we were doing on the Tacoma. Um, this is a gray main body color with a red accent piece. It's going to match the exterior color of the truck really well. I also have red stitching on there. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, cat skin gets very intense. You gotta rip a lot of things apart on the interior. Um, these seats have to come the whole way down to the frame so that we can rewrap the foam pads. Morel is working on a really nice looking Super Duty here. This looks like it's brand new. Terrell, what are you tinting on this thing? Whole cab? Hello. Tin, tin the whole cab? Yeah, whole awesome. cab in a visor. In a visor? Yes. Cool. What film? Uh, HP 20 up front, HP 5 in the back with an HP 5 visor. Cool. So that's our HP line. It's from Expel. It's a metallic film, so it has metal in it, but it will not interfere with GPS signals and things like some of the old metallic films will. It also does not look reflective. It is a straight black look. That's our midline film. Looks like they're doing a 20% on the front and a 5% on the back of the cab. All right, we're out in the back lot. We've got a Jeep Grand Cherokee. This was here for a remote start system. I believe that's the factory integrated option that starts the car by pressing lock three times. Collision Shop sent us this Toyota Camry. It was apparently in some kind of an accident and it needed a partial fender and partial hood replaced with paint protection film, so we took care of that. This Acura was another one of the remote starts that Aaron already put in this morning. Then we've got a Tesla Model S. This is the P85 and we did a ceramic coating on this i think it was two years ago this gentleman has a few vehicles that were ceramic coated by us also some paint protection film on all of them i'm pretty sure and this one performed perfectly it was it's two years old the gentleman drives the car a lot and the coating performed like the day that we did it so that's what we like to see it means he's taking care of it very well and he's getting out of the coating what he should 
We got our loaner car. It just came back today. It was out last week. And we have a Toyota Tacoma, another one. This one is here for a remote start system. It is done as well. This is a dealership car. We had a Buick here. It just got picked up. That got a full front end paint protection film also. And then this Subaru got blind spot monitors installed. So near the rear bumper, we installed sensors. And then there's little indicators that go inside. So if your car doesn't come factory with blind spot monitors, we can add those for you. That's it for What's in the Shop Wednesday today. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to tune in next week to see what's going on at Blackout.